What is there to say about man's best friend? Evidence shows that humans domesticated dogs more than 30,000 years ago, helping them keep watch around the campfire in exchange for food. It's a unique symbiotic relationship that's blossomed into truly something beautiful. Now there are entire industries, films, and television shows dedicated to our four-legged family members, and it shouldn't be too hard to see why. From golden retrievers to golden doodles, howling beagles to shaking chihuahuas, and proud Shiba Inus to droopy basset hounds, there are more breeds of pooches than you can shake a finger at. But what about the odd and unusual breeds? Well, join me for today's video. We're going to count down 15 of the most unusual dog breeds. Number 15. Hungarian Puli Hound Part of what makes humans so beautiful is our physical diversity and how we choose to express ourselves through things like clothing and hair. And while dreadlocks may have a rich history across many cultures, who would have thought that some dogs would ever sport those luscious locks? The Hungarian Puli Hound is a kind of canine that you just have to see to believe. There's absolutely no mistaking this breed for anything else, thanks to these naturally occurring cords that can make them look like a walking mop. Their hair color can range anywhere from black to charcoal to gray to white, and the heavy crops help them weigh between 25 to 35 pounds. As their name would suggest, the Puli Hound hails from Hungary, where they've been used as herding dogs for ages. But what could have possibly caused the Puli Hound to evolve to look like this? Well, this unique coat protects them from the elements and is completely weatherproof. It keeps them warm in the winters and keeps the water away during those rough rainy months. Plus, it's just drop-dead gorgeous to look at. And while these dogs may be perfectly suited for farm life, they also make stellar house pets. They're incredibly affectionate, good with people, great with kids, and smart, making them easy to train. They've got a good amount of energy, too, and love both physical and mental stimulation. And they love curling up on the couch at the end of a long day of play. Number 14. Norwegian Lundhund Norway, the home to Vikings, skiing, the Aurora Borealis, and of course, the Norwegian Lundhund. Wait, you mean you never heard of this one? Well, that's alright, because they don't come around very often. And even when they do, they may be hard to spot, seeing as how they only grow to be about a foot tall and weigh about 25 pounds. Better keep your eyes on the ground if you're on the hunt for them. And fun fact, the Norwegian Lundhund was originally bred to hunt puffins, so it's a small, spry, and lively dog breed that would much rather be outdoors than hanging out at home all day. But on top of all that energy, they're super smart, so learning new commands is a snap for them, making them the perfect dog for the family, and even if they're not puffin hunters. Their feet are also a lot more flexible than most other dog breeds, so they can oftentimes climb into those hard-to-reach places. They even have six fully functional toes on their feet and can close their ears voluntarily to keep their ear canals safe. If you had to be reborn as an animal, you could do a lot worse than the Norwegian Lundhund. Number 13. The Peruvian Inca Orchid The next dog breed may not be the cutest in the world, but that doesn't mean they can't be awesome. The Peruvian Inca Orchid has a name that may make it easy to confuse with a flower, but its origins reach far back to Peru, like medieval Peru. The Peruvian Inca Orchid has been around since about 750 AD. It's known for its lack of fur or hair. These are sight hounds and were bred to be smart and agile so they could aid with hunting. They made great watchdogs too, but despite their appearance, the general personalities of the Inca Orchid make them solid pets if you do ever manage to come across one at the pet store. They can be bred to be small, medium, and large, ranging from 13 to 40 pounds, but no matter what, they're typically not great around other small animals. It's just in their nature. They have a few standout physical features that just can't be ignored. For starters, they've only got hair on their heads, just one small tuft that looks like a mohawk. Their skin-only appearance has earned them the nickname of the Naked God. And so, while the Peruvian Inca Orchid is an awesome and brilliant sighthound, the best part about this unusual dog breed is that they don't shed. They're the cleanest dog you'll ever bring home, even if their appearance is a bit untraditional. Number 12. Thai Ridgeback Not to be confused with a dragon from a certain series of novels about a certain famous wizard, the Thai Ridgeback is another dog that's going to be all but impossible to spot anywhere outside of its home country of Thailand. They're smart, loyal, strong, and fast, which is why they're mostly used as watchdogs and hunters in the field. They're incredibly independent, too, and so training them tends to be pretty much of a nightmare. But once an owner finally can get the commands ingrained into that dog brain, the Thai Ridgeback is set. It can grow to be up to 22 inches tall and weigh around 55 pounds, and even when the bred as pets, the Thai Ridgeback can still maintain its original nature. 
they're pretty cool. The breed's name comes from the small ridge of hairs on its back that, through the years of adaptation, managed to grow in the opposite direction of the rest of its fur. Only two other dog breeds in the world share that feature. What purpose does that serve today? Well, probably nothing. But the more fun facts about a dog breed, the better. And another aspect of this breed that makes them so unique is that in the grand scheme of human-dog relations, the Thai Ridgeback is relatively new. While they have existed for centuries, it wasn't until about 350 years ago that humans domesticated them to stand guard, pull carts, and hunt down vermin in the fields and paddies. The headstrong but loyal Ridgeback is still relatively unheard of outside of its native Thailand, which only adds to its unique mystique. Number 11. Swedish Valhund the Swedish have had plenty of cattle to herd throughout their history, and they can't do it alone, so that's why they bred and called upon the Swedish Valhund to take care of business. Because this rare dog breed is so used to running around with the livestock, they're an incredibly energetic breed and can't really tell the difference between work and play. So if only the Swedish Valhund were a human, they would make for the perfect employee. But these pups date all the way back to Vikings, which is pretty cool to think about, and probably passed on their Viking hound genes down along the way too. It's thought that when Vikings raided areas of Britain, they either brought their Valhuns with them or brought early versions of the Welsh Corgi back to Sweden, which accounts for the similarities between these modern breeds. The Valhund is also related to larger Scandinavian Spitz-type dogs, including the Norwegian Elkhound. But despite the history and cousinly connections, the Swedish Valhund is still a rare breed around the world. In fact, it wasn't until 1986 that the first Valhund litter was born in the United States, and the American Kennel Club didn't recognize the breed until 2007. But if you can find one, they make for great pets. They're pretty small, usually growing to be about 13 inches tall and just 28 pounds or so. so. These guys are extra lean and nimble, allowing them to weave their way in and out of the herd or the furniture. They are real people pleasers too, so they make excellent companions, especially if you've got some kids around the house that can keep up with them. But throw them into any situation and they'll know exactly what to do, sniffing out the scenario and quickly finding a four-legged solution. Number 10. Finnish Spitz If you like the little guys, then this entry on our list is one for you. The Finnish Spitz typically doesn't grow to be more than 18 inches tall and weigh around 26 pounds when it's an adult. And if you haven't guessed already by the dead giveaway of their name, they were originally from the cold reaches of Finland. The Finnish Spitz goes back a few centuries, and they were believed to be going down the road to extinction in the late 1800s. Luckily for the rest of us, though, and for them, they're still here, and their puppies have become a bit more popular in the 21st century. But the look on their face says it all. They're super happy all the time and are ready to love and be loved. The only real catch here is they do bark quite a bit, but think of it as them screaming how much they love you. And once you dig your fingers into their lush, dense coat, you'll forget how loud they are in seconds. They're also incredibly inquisitive and prone to fits of energy, so taking them on new and exciting adventures is an absolute must for this breed. Good thing the Finnish Spitz didn't go extinct all those years ago. Number 9. Moody Don't let the name fool you because the Moody is anything but that. Hailing from Hungary, the Moody was initially bred to be an even-keeled and intelligent breed. Their pointy ears and wavy coats make them pretty tough to miss and pretty easy on the eyes if you do manage to see one. Sure, they make great family pets, but their brains and ability to quickly learn and obey commands along with their endless amounts of energy made them the choice of a herding dog for the Hungarian farmers of yesteryear. But when they're not herding and guarding the flock, they actually make for pretty solid hunters. But they're not going after big game. At 17 inches tall and about 24 pounds, they're a little too small for that. Instead, the Moody is looking for rodents, working as nature's exterminator. They'll give chase and even dig into the rat's burrow if they have to get those pests out of there and away from their owner's crops. Rodents beware. But nowadays, the breed will usually patter around outside to keep itself occupied. But if you've got the energy for it, they love to go for long walks and runs and need plenty of wide open spaces to roam free. Number 8. Utter Hounds Unfortunately for cute animal enthusiasts, the otter hound is not half otter and half dog. Instead, the otter hound was bred specifically to hunt otters in the English countryside. This means that they're getting down and dirty in wet habitats, which is why they've adapted by having webbed feet. This scent hound can outswim just about any breed any day of the week. But perhaps more importantly to the breed, otter hounds were raised to hunt in large packs. Since squabbles among pack mates would interfere with getting the job done, outer hounds were bred to be even-tempered, which is why these dogs typically get along with everyone. 
kids, strangers, other dogs, and even cats all make for great friends for the otter hound. But they are especially affectionate toward their family members. Although otter hounds are loving and happy-go-lucky, they're also strong. They can grow to be about 25 inches and then weigh in at 97 pounds, making them short but stout, fluffy balls of energy. And they're fast too, which is probably why nobles and royalty, including Queen Elizabeth I, raised otter hounds. But otter hunting was banned in England in the 1970s because otter populations were severely depleted. In turn, fewer and fewer otter hounds were bred over the years, so it's been reported that there are only 800 of them left in the world. It's quite sad when you think about it, because a dog that was once held in such high regard by an entire people now essentially faces extinction. So if you do manage to catch a glimpse of one, you may as well consider it good luck. And if you can, give it a home. Number 7. Lagotto Romagnolo Just take one guess where the Lagotto Romagnolo was originally from. Yep, Italy. But if you think you've seen this pooch before, it's okay, because they're easily confused with the ever-popular Golden Doodle. And although they do share a similar demeanor with the Golden Doodle, the Lagotto Romagnolo has a serious coat of curly hair that's perfect for being put to work in the field. Those curls are just the thing to keep their skin safe from the wild brushes and brambles they may be running through. If you speak a little Italian, then you'll know that their name translates to Lake Dog from Romagna. This breed originally helped hunt waterfowl through wet marshlands of Romagna, which is where they're also known as Italian water dogs. Today, with many of the marshlands of their homeland drained, these dogs have found a new purpose in truffle hunting. They can be easily trained to use their noses for scent work. Their thick coats help them stay warm in fall and winter while protecting them from thorns and debris as they run through the forests. They only ever grow to be about 17 inches tall and weigh about 29 pounds, making them the perfect size for squeezing into those hard-to-reach places in the woods. They're incredibly smart, too. And so, for the Lagotto Romagnolo, truffle hunting is nothing more than a game of hide-and-seek. Number 6. Fila Brasileiro This big Brazilian pooch probably looks familiar, seeing as how his ancient origins stem from the other more well-known breeds like the Mastiff and the Bloodhound. But the Fila Brasileiro is pretty damn rare. That's why it's on our list, after all. But the dead giveaway for this one is their large bones, loose skin, and smooth coat. They're also huge. While they do make decent enough pets, they're probably not the best for first-time dog owners who manage to track them down. But speaking of tracking things down, the working breed of this dog is known for its excellent tracking ability, and unfortunately for its sometimes aggressive temper when out in the field. Through no fault of their own, the Fila has a bit of a dark history, though. Yes, they were used by colonists and plantation owners to fend off large predators like jaguars and the hunting and tracking of livestock like cattle, but sadly to also track down the escaped enslaved peoples of Brazil, as the breed can run up to 35 miles an hour. It's quite sad, and lucky today these dogs have a much better relationship with their owners as well as the people of Brazil. They're still tough as nails, though, more than capable of showing pure love and affection. So anyone who does choose to take on the task of training this Brazilian pooch is going to have to prove to even be more confident, courageous, and an all-around headstrong than their Fila Brasileiro. And one thing they do love to do to keep themselves occupied is chew. So as you can imagine, they've got pretty strong jaws and pretty big teeth. So make sure you keep them off the furniture and maybe even out of the house when you're not home. A fenced-in yard is always best for a breed like this one. These large dogs can certainly be intimidating, but there's a reason why the saying, faithful as a fila, exists in Brazil. Number 5. The Telomian The previous entries on our list are pretty rare in their own right, but this next one is going to be extra hard to track down. The Telomian is one of the few hounds that isn't recognized by the American Kennel Club, making it seem more like a living legend than something you'll see roaming the aisles of your local pet store. The Tolomians are originally bred in Malaysia, and not many of them are left in that country, which is why you've probably never heard of it. They're mostly found among the Orang Asli indigenous people of Malaysia, and they weren't brought to American shores until the swing in 60s. It's been said by experts, though, that the Tolomians are treated as members of the family in their home country, and not the way Westerners may mean it. Sure, they participate in protecting hearth and home, but even make solid hunter-gatherers with their owners. The quick and agile Tolomian is a small but perfect hunter. They have high prey drives and use their keen senses to keep their families, both human and canine, safe from snakes, scorpions, and other dangerous vermin that spread nasty diseases. And though not technically a terrier, they share many of the same attributes and are just as effective as the best European and American vermin hunters. 
Because these hunting traits haven't been watered down over the ages, the Tolomian serves as an awesome reminder of the early relationships and bonds once shared by the humans and dogs of old. So, despite being so illustrious, they're still known for being both protective and stern, while still having a sweet demeanor, meaning they're more than happy to play in between the hunt. Number 4. Chateauburon This dopey yet cute dog known as the Chateauburon originates from the Mersin in the southern Tarsus province in Turkey, and it's got a tendency not to deviate too far from that region either. It's estimated that there are only about 200 of these pups in the world. Their most distinguishable feature without a doubt is their little heart-shaped or split nose and long droopy ears. But despite a face that says, where am I? The Chateaubrun are pretty smart and reliable, so they make for an awesome pet. But if you're more of an outdoorsy type, they have an uncanny ability to sniff and point things out, especially partridges. Unfortunately though, because the Chateaubrun is so rare, it does often suffer from some inbreeding, which is never fair to the resulting puppies. In the event you do spot one of these adorable two-nosed doggies, you better cherish it. Number 3. Stabihorn the hard-to-find Stabihorn is typically willful by nature, but it can still become an obedient, kind, and gentle dog as long as the owners are willing to put in a little extra effort. The Stabihorn was originally bred in the Netherlands and has a curious demeanor all across the board, so these little guys love to dig, sniff, wander off, and find new spots to play in all the time. Their independence can sometimes get them into a little bit of trouble, but at the end of the day, they still enjoy the companionship. They usually don't grow to be more than 20 inches tall or weigh about 50 pounds, but that still makes them a solid size for a little rough and tumble with their human friends. But believe it or not, the Stabihorn thrives in water-filled environments and was bred to be a duck hunter with both keen smell and sight. It was once the favored breed by farmers in the Netherlands, considering it isn't very needy and can be left to its own devices as they tend to do other things. And only adding to their use by farmers, they're incredibly alert and can be exceptionally loud when they notice something out of the ordinary. It may be one of the rarest dogs in the world, but the breed is as close to perfect as you can get. Number 2. Slogi Perhaps better known as the Arabian Greyhound, the Slogi is another dog breed that goes back to ancient times. The Slogi doesn't look all that different from a Greyhound given its smooth and lean appearance, but this swift and agile sight hound hunted all sorts of wild game in the North African deserts like the fox, hare, jackal, wild pigs, and even gazelle. So, needless to say, the Slogi is pretty damn fast when it needs to be. In more modern times, however, the Slogi makes a solid house pet and has an overall shy and gentle demeanor and is typically pretty aloof when it comes to meeting new people. They typically will grow to be about 27 inches tall and weigh only around 58 pounds or so. If you do manage to snag one of these dogs, expect them to be curled up and cozy on their own. Their big dark eyes can make them look like one sad little dog, but don't be alarmed, they're as happy as they can be. Number 1. Sholowitz Quintli The final dog breed on our list isn't just unusual, it's epic. The Sholowitz Quintli, or Sholo, go back a long way, with the earliest accounts dating back all the way to the days of the Aztec Empire. These hairless dogs were named after the god Xolotl and were highly regarded in ancient societies. The god Xolotl is typically depicted in art with the head of a dog and was believed to ferry souls to the underworld, and he created these Xolo dogs to send through the mortal realm for humans. Archaeological digs have found evidence of Xolo skeletons, collars, dog bowls, and even pottery statues of the dogs in ancient graves. Apart from their religious and ritual significance, the Aztecs also used Xolos as hunting dogs, guards, and sentries. They were also gifted to other tribes for diplomatic purposes and even, unfortunately, eaten during famines. Alongside turkeys, they were the only domesticated animal the Aztecs regularly consumed. The earliest European accounts of the Xolos date back to the 16th century, with Christopher Columbus writing about strange hairless dogs that he observed during his travels to the Americas, noting how close they were with the indigenous populations, even writing he'd seen them wrapped in blankets and sleeping alongside children. But with the arrival of these explorers also came the near demise of the Xolowitz quaintly. The European explorers neither understood nor respected the Xolo's importance to the local cultures. They proceeded to both eat them and crossbreed them with their own European breeds. It wasn't until the Mexican Revolution in the early 1900s that the people of Mexico began to breed more Xolos thanks to a reinforced sense of national pride and identity. Even the likes of Frida Caolo and Diego Rivera, both revolutionaries in their own right, would use these hairless dogs as the subject of much of their art. And so, even in Mexico today, some believe that showing cruelty to a dog in life means that the Xolos will refuse to help you cross to heaven after death. 
They may be an unusual dog breed, but they still play a prominent role in Mexican history and culture and can be found in dog parks all over the capital city, playing fetch with their loving and lucky owners. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.